what I'm going to try and do is to put up some option buttons into a, a group box. Right, first of all, there are the buttons there, and that's what I'm using. I'll actually start off by drawing a box in the background and putting some colour onto it. There you are. Now let's put an option button on there. And I, should, I could put some colour on that as well. Now I could duplicate that by just pressing control and pulling down onto that box there and if I do that three times there there you are. Now what I'm trying to do is to take this button here and write yesterday there. I'll take this and write today on there and I'll take this and write tomorrow on there. Okay, I could possibly put some lines around it just for decoration. There you are. So I've got three buttons there. Now, I want these buttons to talk to a cell. Let's put a cell up here and mark the cell. And then I want an option down here. I'll just open it up a fraction more. I want a formula in there to talk to that. I want those to talk to these. All right. First of all, press the right hand mouse and yesterday. And then I go down to Format Control. I have an unchecked button. I'm going to link it with this cell here. I'll try 3D shading. I've never really seen it work yet. But now, when I click onto there, you'll see that this changes to 3, 2, 1. OK, I want to put a, set, uh, a formula in here. Now, the formula I'm going to, to choose is choose. I'll go to the formula box there, double click onto there, and up comes this. I'll go to All and then click onto any of these and press the letter C and keep pressing C until it comes up with what you want. And here we have Choose. OK. So there's my function there. I'll put it down to here. Now, the first thing that I need to choose is to click that and select that. So there's the index number, this cell here. The value. The value for yesterday, I'm putting in now, open bracket, close bracket, and minus 1. Against today, I'll put now open bracket, close bracket. Now you'll remember that if you put equals now, open bracket, close bracket, that will give you today's date. If I put minus 1 against it, obviously that will give me yesterday's date. So it's not difficult to work out that now, open bracket, close brackets, plus 1 will give me tomorrow's date. Let me OK that. What we need to remember is that when they first 
created Excel, they said that time, date-wise time, started on January the 1st, 1900. So this is the number of days since January the 1st, 1900. If I click onto there, go up to Format and Cells, and then go down to Date, and choose something that I like the look of. Going to there, you'll see that yesterday came up with the 30th of March. Today came up with the 31st of March, and tomorrow comes up with April the 1st. OK. Of course, when you do it, the dates will have changed. Now, just in case you don't believe me about this January the 1st, 1900, if I put my cursor there, go up and get the Format Painter there, there's the Format Painter. When I click onto there, there you are. 1 equals the 1st of January 1900. If I step back and undo that, it comes up as 1. OK. You may find some other uses for the Option button. The Option button there. This has been one of them. Thank you, JH.